Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 30th of October 2020 and the time has just gone 11.31 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the DAX, or as we call it here at CMC, the Germany 30. Uh, if you take a look at the wider trend, the market had a fantastic run between mid-March through to September, uh, where it hit its highest level uh, since since February, some multi-month uh, highs were achieved only not, not that long ago at the beginning of September. And since then, uh, we see a turn lower. Uh, we can see here we've had a nice series of lower lows and lower highs. Uh, and the last two sessions, we've, per, per, uh, we've seen a particularly aggressive sell-off. But uh, what I want to talk about in this video is are we going to are we going to are we going to see a continuation of the wider negative trend the, the negative trend of the last few weeks and months, or are we going to see a bit of a bounce back? Now, take a look at the price action. It's been moving aggressively lower, uh, particularly in the last few sessions, essentially driven by fears that the German economy and other European economies are going to come are going to come under strain because of new lockdown restrictions that are going to come into play. Um, but Financial markets don't move in straight lines. So we've had a very aggressive move in the downside. We um, moved quickly below the two day moving average. And we can see here we're back at multi month lows on the DAX. Now, the question is could we see a bounce back? And if you take a look at today's candle, obviously today's trading session hasn't ended. Um, but if you take a look at today's candle, it's already, sh it's already um, taking the, sh the uh, potential shape of a hammer formation. Now, what is a hammer formation? Well, this is a textbook example of a hammer formation, whereby you have an aggressive move to the downside, a series of lower lows and lower highs, and, ne and uh, a negative um, uh, bearish candles. And then this candle here has a very, very long wick, which kind of denotes indecision. And then it, notice how not only does it close higher than where it open, creating a positive candle, also it closes well above uh, well, both the open and the close of the previous day's session. So essentially, the, the, what you would like to see is if we see a similar formation to this replicated uh, on the DAX today, that could be the sign that we, we would be in for a turnaround, potentially. Now, that's just having this formation on its own in itself isn't a, a guarantee of a, of a hammer formation. You want to see confirmation. And by confirmation, what you want to see is you want to see the market move higher in, in, the, in the next couple of sessions. And then we could potentially see a, 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 a wider rebound. So the long wick to no sin decision, we could be looking at a point whereby uh, the market's already uh, above its open of the session. So, so we have potential to, to form a hammer. If you look to kind of ideally, you want to see um, the market close uh, a, a fair bit higher than it's open and the market close around the high of the day. Uh, if that is the case and we are looking to rebound, where could we potentially head back to? Well, we could head back up to 12,000. It's a you know, it's a big number. And if you just go beyond 12,000, we could also head up toward this red line here, the 200 day moving average. Notice how it acted nicely as support in late July. It briefly acted as support. Uh, at the beginning of this week, um, so it, this this entire zone of say twelve thousand up to twelve thousand and eighty eight could act potentially uh, as a as a resistance zone should we move upward from here. And if we go beyond that, uh, we get then we, we then really need to be kind of taken out this yellow line here, the one where they move the average at twelve thousand seven hundred and thirty eight. Uh, on a few occasions, the market traded below it, but it's sort of acted as support on a few occasions. Um, in the months of uh, in uh, in September and October, and then if you go beyond that, we could then be looking at retesting the kind of the uh, the highs that were achieved in early October, early to mid October. But conversely, uh, what happens if you move lower? If th this doesn't turn out to be hammer formation, and if you move lower and we take off the recent lows, that will be yet again another multi-month low. That could, that could easily be interpreted as a sign that the recent downward trend is still very much in play, and we could head back down toward this area here, down around the 11,000. Not only is it a big number, but also we have seen a bit of consolidation in that zone back in May uh, when the market was pushing higher. Now, if you're going to be trading the DAX, or quite frankly, if you're going to be trading any of the indices, it's always worth your while looking at what other markets are doing. So we talked about a potential of a hammer formation on the DAX. What do we see here on the FTSE 100? We see a similar situation whereby today's candle has created another multi-month low, but there's a very long wick on it. So that, that denotes indecision. 
it's a, possi it's a possibility that we could see uh, a hammer formation on the FTSE 100. And if you take a look at what's going on with the S&P 500, it's a similar situation again. Obviously, cash trading in New York hasn't opened yet, but similar to the DAX, whereby we've had a series of bearish candles, we've been, been pushing lower, uh, we, we, we've had a, a, long, a relatively long wick on this candle here, denoting the decision already, we, it's, it appears to be in the potentially forming a hammer formation. Obviously, the trading day isn't over yet. So if we were to see a hammer formation, uh, across all those three candles, all those three markets, you, you could then become more confident that we're going to see a rebound in global stocks. If none of them form, form hammer formations, it could be a, a, and, and the takeout, the recent lows, that could be a sign that we're in for uh, further further falls on the DAX and other markets. But ultimately, um, the tenth of Dow theory states that the averages must confirm each other, which essentially means average markets that are quite similar. Uh, they should they, they should be in, you know they, they if they move a, a, in a similar direction at the same time you can be more confident of that particular move. Uh, that's all from this video. Uh, best of luck with your trading week ahead of you. Have a good trading week and good luck.